Hey guys, it's Crystal Dragonfly here with our Art Journal Proceeds Group. Prompt is Sparkle. Yay! We all love the sparkle. This makes you so happy. <laughs> so, I don't have much of an idea. As usual, I like to just go with it. it. Turns out better that way. But I did take out some. I've got Craft Smarts. Pink. Coraline, Sapphire, and Aquamarine in their premium ultra white metallic paints. Um, no, they do not pay me. That's just what I'm using. <laughs> and I love them. This, this brand um, and the metallic is just so pretty. Um, so, we're going with Shine, and that's what we're going. Um, I'm still. Uh, hurting so but I have got to do some art um, so we're gonna make this a simpler page but you know what simple is fun you don't have to have a humongous holy mackerel page you know you don't you can have a nice easy page and it still turn out beautiful guys all that matters is you're having fun doesn't matter anything else Play, play. Just gonna do some line difference. We're just playing, guys. This is the pink. Ooh, I just dribbled everywhere. And that's alright. That is completely alright. Try this up a little bit, guys. Bubble wrap with the aquarium. This is just getting flowing, baby. And do some of this. Get the other blue. second piece. As you can see, this is actually, it was cut out of a magazine like that. It had ice cream up here. Um, I seen a dress, so I put it on some cardstock that I don't <laughs> use. And we're going to make this look like a cute dress. I love the bottom of that because I want that to go through because I like the look of that. But I think we need, um, I don't want the cookie showing through at top. So I'm just going to put some gesso down. Yeah, I'm using my finger. Just so down, just way. Um, yeah. The, whatever I decide to do with it will stick. The dress, I did decide to use the. I never use these, and I gotta start using them. They're right on my desk. I don't know why I don't. One of those things. And, but I love the look of the silver. And I will actually put a couple coats on. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's the Jim Holtz Distress Stain Brush Pewter. I got these on um, clearance at Hobby Lobby, so I put like a buck on them. Let me see how it like shines. I love that. Alright, so I like the cake coming through. But I think it needs a little bit um, more. So I've got the what's it, pink blush. Pink blush pearl metallic. Um, and I'm going to put it on kind of the white on here. And this is, um, actually I might do the whole thing. Because it is see-through. The pearls are. So we're just going to put the whole, we'll do the whole thing actually. There we go. Do the whole. 
guys. I have the dress down. I did add, I got playing. <laughs> added some of the purple distress stains. See this preserves over it just to give it a little a little bit else. I took some scrap um, floss and wrapped around her and added a jewel. And I made the, the uh, sparkles in the cake pop out. So there we go. And before I put her on there, I put where I wanted it and used some gesso for her face, kind of where it's going to be. Um, yeah, and I'm going to use some, I haven't got to use this, it's called Portrait Pink. Um, I'm always mixing kind of colors to get the face color I want, so I thought I would try this. Always trying different colors for faces and whatnot, so. I wanted to look like her arms were like behind her back, so what I'm trying for here. Oh, that real great at. There we go. I think that, that that'll work. Um, it's not about that, so I'll let that dry and I'll probably mommy, mommy. put another coat on. Whaty whaty whaty. Okay. Very pretty, buddy. That's a good job. Peace. Alright, guys. Let me dry this out. I'm going to pencil on her face, and we'll be back. Alright, guys. Um, I just want to show you. I used just the lines. It's not, you know, um, I drew, drew, I drew, I drew on it. <laughs> I drew on the face there, y'all. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, that's all I did with a uh, pencil, then I went over it with a permanent marker. Um, that's it. It doesn't have to be, oh my god, this is a fun, whimsical piece, guys. So, I'm debating, I'm thinking, what, brown hair, I think? What do you think? What's your thoughts? Um, Just literally, these are just kind of my line of be painting in some paint, I believe. I don't know. You never know with me. Um, just trying to see where we're at here. Might, might use watercolor. I don't know. We'll see what I, what I come up with. It's looking like a hot mess right now, though. And I like it. We all had, all of us in school had that one dance, that one thing that we look like a hot mess in. Or for me, you look like it every morning. <laughs> Alright, I'm loving that. Now, trying to see, I think I'm going to use my Stabello. Kind of mop out her face a little bit. Alright guys, here we are. We are going to do some colors. Blue, blue eyes and those bad boys. Like um, yeah, I'm having a brain hurt here. Um, I'm just going to use, this is my Neo Color 2. I'm going to kind of fill in our hair with. And then we're going to um, kind of color it in and then use the colors. Or the watercolor to bring it together. Just can't think of it. This isn't gonna, you're still gonna see the background and, and through the hair, and that's alright. If you wanted to, you could keep just layering it. Um, let it dry, layer, layer. You would get the really dark, um, the really darkness, but I don't, so. I'm liking it like it is. Alright, now to get a little blush on those cheeks, we use a little bit of, uh, this is just the, the, what is it, 10 Neo Colors. 
Um, I so, 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 if you um, have been thinking about getting some, uh, get them. I love them. Um, I couldn't afford any of the bigger stuff, but you, you know what? You can create your own colors with this tin. I mean, it's it's awesome. I'm, I'm loving it, truth be told. I'll take a little of the brown here and kind of go up our nose a little bit. Kind of shade it in a little. Nothing here. Just a little. Darken it up a little. There we go. This looks good. We need a little more pink. Pink after dry kind of went away. Mommy. There we go. A little bit. A bunny. bunny. What? Come on. You're going to have to wait a minute, okay? You can wait. Remember, we're working on waiting. And if you put it directly on like that, you get a, a deeper, thicker color. I don't want to hear like her. She's adorable and extremely happy with how it turned out. I know I meant to do, I said I was going to do an easy one, but it didn't turn out too easy, did it? And my white is not wanting to come out. There it is. So I'm going to do it like, you know how they do like bubbles? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a bubble, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't want to figure anything else on something like this. I think that will be adorable. Um, see if I got, let's just do. Close that, guys. Get your sparkle on. Um, it's one of my old pads here. And I may, after I feel a little bit better, come back to this page and do maybe a little more. But for now, that's a nice thing. You can always go back on your pages, guys. Isn't it? There we go. Besides finding some sparkle for that, that is it. Happiness to you. Make sure if you like this prompt, go check them out at uh, Art Journal Prompts Facebook group. It's in the down bar. Um, great ladies run it. Lots of fun over there. So, happiness to you. Go make a mess and don't forget to do what? Art it out, guys. Bye.